Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Small Bites with Linz. Today we are talking how exercise affects feminine energy. That is our podcast topic for today. And I have a fabulous guest host here. She is Brianna Diaz, Brie Gaines on Instagram, and she is in the fitness space as well. Hi, Brie. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Brie, and yeah, I've been a personal trainer slash fitness you know, influencer, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> um, but I've been in the space for a couple years now, and you know, I do strength training, I do yoga, I do Zumba, I do basically all the things, um, <laughs> and my goal with the way I run my business and the way I work with my people is just trying to spread love and health and show a good life through fitness because, you know, we can have a very high quality life if we know what we're doing, if we listen to our body and we tap into certain parts of us, like the feminine energy that we're going to talk about today um, and exercise just to create a full life. I love it. So a little backstory, Brie and I would meet for coffee, you know, reg you know, semi-regularly every other month and we would just have conversations and this is something I've talked with her for years now about feminine energy. Like I just have had a really hard time getting slower, softer. I've also always lived a lot more in the masculine, like like harder exterior, like power through, grind, 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 grind. And now that I'm getting like a little bit older, I've just been working on softening. It's something I've personally wanted. And we were having coffee before this podcast and we started talking about how like feminine and inner energy and masculine energy are brought about during certain exercises. So we were saying how strength training really brings about a more of like a masculine energy and how can we balance that? And I relate so much to that too because I also was very tapped into my masculine and I think that a lot for me personally was due to survival and having to grind it out, work really hard and basically like support myself and do what I had to do. Um, and I think strength training when I first started it was a way of protecting myself and mm -hmm. getting stronger in the gym, which AKA would translate over to getting stronger in life. Mentally. To, mentally. For sure. And there's such a beautiful aspect to that. But then I was in it so hard that there was so much masculine hardness to it. Um, but now again, recognizing like the whole need to soften. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think the more we've dipped into different aspects of health and fitness and exercise, it's lent it, it's lent us to more feminine energy, which is what me and Lindsay are going to talk about today. Um, but yeah, I've, I have found personally, like the more I've balanced out my strength training with yoga, with walking, with other forms of fitness, because all of these things, walking is a workout, yoga and stretching is a workout, which a lot of people don't associate that with working out because they're not in a gym, but it is. And I think because I've started to introduce that, you know, this past year, I've found myself being more in my body, which Lindsay was talking about is really important for feminine energy, mm -hmm. right? Right, like really internalizing the movements and feeling them and slowing down. It doesn't have to be like fast or super hard every time you work out. Um, and then like the masculine energy, not just strength training, but I, I would also associate that with like higher intensity and like sprinting and just like all out effort. And I think back like I've gotten more into strength training as I wrote, like as I've developed my knowledge because I realized how important it is to do as a woman. Um, but I would say with my past, how I was really in my masculine with exercise was high intensity. I would just go so hard every workout and it was like too much because then I didn't even want to do it. So I've really seen like, yeah, there are benefits of going for a walk and it is a workout, mm -hmm. you know, and yoga. Yeah. Yoga has probably like completely transformed more of uh, the feminine and masculine energy yeah. side of exercise for me because it's Absolutely. really made me realize like, take a deep breath, slow yes. down. All these things are really important for our wellness. Yes. And I will say, I know we're talking about feminine and masculine, and it may seem like the masculine energy associated with exercise is a bad thing. We're not saying that necessarily. We're just trying to highlight how important it is to have a balance of both because it there's something so, so good from just being able to pick up that weight that you never thought you would mm -hmm. and just seeing your body transform and 
being able to be powerful in the gym, but there's also so much beauty in being able to soften up and move and be flexible and be functional and yeah, soften your body internally and not feel the need to always go hard. So I think the point of the podcast and talking about how exercise affects the feminine energy is that we need to recognize how we need to get in touch and in tune with our body and make sure that we're giving it all aspects, not just one. Right. Um, and so, yeah. It, yeah. And I think, too, it's twofold. Having different forms of exercise is really important. So variety during your week and seeing how it affects you. Like when you finish the workout, are you really like up and high, like too much? You know, like I've finished a workout. I, strength training or really high intensity I've learned I need to like stretch and cool down because like my personality is too heated I've seen myself get in an argument like right after a really intense workout because I'm up I'm so up you know so you level the energy out and then sometimes I do like maybe too much yoga and then I'm like so like this and then like, I could just fall asleep yeah. which there are days for that and yeah. that's great yeah. but it's knowing that like that's gonna be where you're at at the end of this kind of exercise is that where you need to be for the rest of the day so learning that about yourself I think is super important or if you're really up maybe you should do some yoga yeah. or if you're really down and it's Sometimes when you're really down, it's hard, but that's probably the day you need to do like that higher intensity. It's going to help your mood for as far as energy speaking. Absolutely. And that's interesting you mentioned that because I've recognized in myself in the mornings when I start my day super slow and like not really, you know, with a pep in my step, I'm lazy all day. Like it's really <laughs> hard for me to get stuff done versus when I start my morning with a little more pep in my step, yeah. you know, and I'm. I'm moving through the day quicker then th I find myself to be more productive so that at the end of the day I can slow down and kind of sit into stuff so personally I have found that like what works for me is like getting myself up in the morning and really picking up and having a pep in my step um, yeah. and then you know getting the more of that feminine soft yoga stretching walking situation right. towards the end of the day because yeah. that just works for running a business my lifestyle absolutely the way my brain operates so yeah, just recognizing. It's interesting you say that because I didn't yeah. make that connection. Before. Like on Sundays or like the weekends or maybe your day off is Tuesday, right? I have found that like, well, there's two things. Sometimes like a long run is nice because it's just like clearing. I can do that outside and I have the time. Mm -hmm. Or a long yoga practice because mm -hmm. it's also clearing and mm -hmm. calming mm -hmm. and I have more time, right? So that's something really nice. Whereas on the weekdays, oh, I see such a difference when I – Sometimes it's just too early. Like I have clients too early. I'm like, I'm not getting up at 5 a.m. to work yep. out or 4 a.m. It's, yep. it's great that people do that, but I think that's it, a not lot. For you. Not for me. Um, but if I am able to work out before, my energy is – I'm way more up. Absolutely. Which is nice. So there's such value in, in what kind of exercises we're choosing and seeing how it affects us. And, you know, make a good choice. Be aware of the how it's affecting you. And one thing I want to highlight, I love how you said – oh yeah, it's very chill if I just go on a long run. Some people that are going to listen to this are going to be like, there's nothing chill about going for a long run. But for you, that's such a chill, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that might so, be a little insane. Yeah. But. but I think it's important recognizing, like, for you, right. that's chill and, like, that's you okay. You should say a, a long walk, uh, yeah, yeah. right? But, I mean, that's your version of chill and that's, perfectly you yeah you know and for me it might not be right. perfectly me so again being able to understand like this is what I enjoy this is what is considered slow and peaceful and calm for me versus this is what's considered high intense and this is what right kind of brings me up so again for yourself exactly right. yes so that was a good point yeah that's a that's basically I mean how I view it and how I've come to view it in this point of my journey, you know, being in the industry for yeah. eight, seven, nine, ten years, however long I've been in it. Um, and recognizing that in five, it might change. And I might be like, I just want to yoga all day long and then strength training, <laughs> you know? So yeah. it's okay with the changes that happen. and Because also life our develops. bodies are changing. The demand of our day changes. And that yeah. changes your exercise routine exactly. and what you need from it. Exactly. Yeah. So loving yourself in all your different phases and all your different bodies and in all your different mindsets because you know we only live one life and I always say your body is your temple and we got to treat it like a nice yeah. little sanctuary absolutely 
Well, guys, that was just a little tidbit on how energy affects your yourself, how exercise is creating different energies in our bodies. And maybe you never thought about it that way. So hopefully you got a little bit of value out of that and you can come up with maybe adjustments in your routine that will help your life, you know, when you need that energy boost or when you need to relax. So definitely exercise can help you with that, different forms of it. Well, Brie, can you let everybody know where they can find you? Yes. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Brie Gaines. And then I also have a YouTube channel if you look up Brie Gaines. Uh, most of my stuff is happening on Instagram. I show my daily life and more of how I'm tapping into my feminine energy through not only my business, but just in my personal life. Um, and yeah, I'm very chill. <laughs> love to share everything I learn, and I appreciate you all for listening, and I appreciate you, Lindsay, for thank having you for, me here. Thank you for being on here. So guys, I'm going to plug that in the description below as well so you can find her easily. And I hope you guys have a fabulous day, and I'll see you on the next Small Bites with Lynn's podcast. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.